Jeremy Lin was actually in the spotlight last week where he discussed some head, made some major headlines talking about some of the racial slurs that he had to endure while he was in college playing basketball for Harvard where he was saying that the slurs that he endured playing at Harvard were much worse than some of the stuff that he's had to hear while playing now in the NBA. Keisha, this story is disturbing on so many levels. Are you surprised at all by this story, though? No, I'm not. And I think it's sad that I'm not surprised. I think we, we've we seen this happen over the course of the past couple of seasons, most notably during um, the protest during the national anthem, which was sparked by the protest started by Colin Kaepernick of the San Francisco, formerly of the San Francisco 49ers. And we saw where one player or a few players from the U University of Nebraska, in particular Michael Rose Ivy, went forward and to talk about the kind of treatment that he and his other teammates who did decide to protest during the national anthem, what they received. They received um, racial insults. They were threatened. People said that they, they should be hung before the next game. And then um, current NBA player Marcus Smart got suspended when he was at Oklahoma State for shoving a fan. And he said the reason why he did it was because that fan wrote, um, hurled a racial slur at him. So I'm not surprised, especially at Harvard. Harvard is a very old con um, institution. So what I may be conservative, or when I think of it, I think, you know, you know, stiff ties, a predominantly white institution, and the, I, I'm not surprised, and it's just sad that I'm not surprised, and I think this, the climate that we're in now is help bolstering and em emboldening people to even continue saying these such nasty things. Yeah, I give Jeremy Lin some credit here for bringing some attention to this story. And, you know, for me, the, the one big surprise is what you pointed out as far as this being while he played at Harvard. So they're going to schools like here in New York playing against Columbia. They're going up to Ithaca to play at Cornell, all the other Ivy League schools. So it's not like he's going to some community college in Oklahoma. or It's not like he's playing at an SEC school where you would expect a lot of this bigotry Instead, it's these you know some of the best in educational institutions in the country, and even there, you're still seeing some of this. So this is very, very disturbing. But I think the good thing about it is that someone like Jeremy Lin it brings it up, and it was also right after the whole situation with Adam Jones, which we discussed on our show a couple weeks ago, when he had his whole situation played out at, at Fenway Park in Baltimore.